Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you uh, some gameplay about the new game mode in Battlefield 5. Um, the game mode's name is Fortress. I'm also going to talk about my first impressions of the mode. Not a proper review since I only had like 6 to 8 rounds yet, not sure. And I know I'm uh, late uh, in the time this video goes live. Some YouTubers uh, already made uh, reviews on the mode. So Fortress was added as a limited time game mode and it feels like grind. 64 players are playing on a small map. Compared to grind, the amount of action is quite the same. However, uh, this is a spin-off of Breakscrew, not Conquest. It feels like it is closer to Conquest than Breakthrough, at least for me. We only have one sector on the map, and the objective areas are very small. I think that's why. I feel like I enjoyed Grind a bit more, just because of it had 4 maps, not 2. The two maps of the game mode are Hamada and Devastation. The attackers can win uh, the game if uh, they capture all the free objectives, and the defenders can win if they eliminate 200 attackers. The rotation is that you play one match defending and one match attacking on the same map, then you move on to the other map and uh, again play one defending and one attacking. Okay, so now let's talk about the actual gameplay. At the beginning of the round you will spawn quite far from the objectives. Smokes are necessary to your survival. As soon as the round starts, smoke the area and try to get as close as possible and as soon as possible to the objectives. The defenders are prepared for their attack with uh, tons of fortifications, stationary medium machine guns and snipers. They will start shooting before you get close to the actual fortress. At the start, uh, it might be worth considering to come with a medium to long range viable weapon and after you broke through uh, the starter area and the map turns into close quarter combat mode uh, take something for CQC if you start with a CQC weapon you might be bored if you are defending or a little bit frustrated if you are attacking when you actually get to the close quarters part of the match, it is also worth considering to take explosives with you. The frag grenade launcher, the piat, or even a few normal grenades can cause really high damage and chaos. Sadly, this is not as good for flying flanks as a grind was. It is harder to get behind the enemy lines. However, if you manage to do so, Expect a nice kill streak. Uh, it might be hard uh, also because there are a uh, lot of medium machine gun campers compared to grind. The biggest thing that I dislike about the mode is that you can find more medium machine gun campers in the defending team than you would like to. And it feels a bit frustrating when it happens, although uh, it doesn't happen too often. Overall, I do think it is a nice game mode, a nice addition to Battlefield 5. I enjoy it, but I miss the flames from Grind, and I enjoyed Grind a bit more. The amount of action in this game mode is okay, it's definitely for you if you like uh, when YD games are fast paced combat games. This mode uh, is also very good at farming out assignments for your weapons. It is definitely worth to try it out, however, after a few games you might not like the fact that you can only play two maps. It feels like DICE wanted to add this one as a temporary game mode, and it's good for that. But if we see it returning later on, I would say that uh, then we really need more maps for the mode. So that's it for the review, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me to continue making content like this.